Howdy. Oh, am I in the right place? I think I am. Oh my God, it's so cold. Oh, get my chair up, get my chair up. How is everyone? Oh my goodness, I can't believe how cold it is. I've got my heating on. Let's see who's coming on. Yep, heating is on. Oh, it's cold. Oh, got a bit of squint fringe this morning. Oh, here we go, here we go. We've got a little viewer. Oh, my phone's all caught up. What is going on here? Couldn't find my other backup phone. Hi, Kirsten, honey. This one. This cable is all higgle to pickle to. How are you? How are you doing? Ooh, we were supposed to be going away to um, watch Thornton Hibbs through in Ormiston, but the game's been cancelled. So we're going to see our adopted grandbaby instead. Hi, Hazelan. Welcome to Zampin' Up. World as a demo, honey. About time. Right. Oh, it's saying it's 99% charged. Right, let's see. I'm going to be casing um, a project from not this Pitler's Autumn Retreat, but the last one I was at. Um, hi, Karen. He was a wee cutie, isn't he? <laughs> Hi, Cheryl Amanda. Um, so I'm going to case this. I've not, I've not looked out the original measurements, so I'm going to have to do it on the live. So this was a project um, that was shown to us by Sam. So it's a, an accordion card. Who remembers these papers from last year? So I'm going to use the um, Berry Christmas papers today, namely this one I think it is. Um, so yeah, can't believe how cold it is. Let me go and get um, one of my new ribbons. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I haven't unpacked, I haven't unpacked my latest order. Right, so this gorgeous ribbon, sorry about the glare, this ribbon is Sparkle Ribbon Bammy Blue. And that's part of this um, suite. So I don't actually have the stamp set that goes with it. But I do have the gems. So that's going to work out nice. And I'm going to use Bammy Blue and white and this is the paper I'm going to use because I need two parts of it, two sheets. So I'm going to use the bottom half. So I'll pop that in there. So I got myself four new bits of Stella. Ooh. Is that four? Where's the other one? Um, I need to do a haul. I'll need to do a video. Um, I've got three new packs of paper as well. So these are lovely. Hi, Alison. Hi, Ali. So this one's really traditional. It is Oh Holy Night. This one is Transitions of St. Nick. Another gorgeous, gorgeous, traditional Christmas. And this one is a Walk in the Forest. So I'll do a video later um, to show you guys that. Flooded my wee garage a wee bit. Right, let me just set this up so I can find a live, so I can still see all comments when we're chatting. Oh, it's going to go slow. Let me get my specs on. I don't know what I've done with my yellow ones. I don't know what I've done with my yellow ones. I wear my grey though, and then they coordinate with my loungewear. Um, right here it's starting up. Do, 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 do. Do, ba, do, ba, do. Oh, thanks for sharing, Gem. I've just saw you've... Um, Shared my life, thank you. That's good, so I found it. Let's mute myself though. That's it. Kirsten's saying it's freezing here, I've got heating on. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jackie. 
it's nice to have you all here. Right, I need to keep that on charge actually. So let me flip everything around. Right, what is going on here, guys? There, right, let me see if that is the right view. Let's get this centered a wee bit. Do, 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 do. Can't stop long, it's off to a coffee morning. We'll catch you later. Oh, no worries, lovely. No worries at all. Right, I need a new piece of... Hang on, this is the current hostess code, guys. If you're shopping um, the next few weeks, I'll close that workshop off on the 17th or 18th of November. Um, right, what was I going to do there? Good paper, because I need to be able to measure in inches to let me get a fresh piece. Who loves a fresh, fresh, fresh bit of wood paper? I do, I do. There we go. Oh. Well done to all my lovely Stampin' Up sisters and fellow demos, getting all the recognition coming through. That is amazing. I've got a couple for um, team building. Well, one for team building, one for leadership. So thank you so much to all my team. Um, without you guys, obviously, I wouldn't um, get all these lovely recognitions. So, right. Um, you love the... Oh, hi, Joanna. Hi, honey. Hi, Barbara. Uh, Joanna loves the background on your host coat. I know, it's very autumnal, isn't it? Canva is an absolute godsend. Right, I need to get celly tape to stick this bad boy down. Hang on. Oh, I can't believe how cold it is. So I'm winging it in terms of the project and... Um, oh my goodness, I'm rubbish at tearing celly tape. Put that there. Put this one here. But hopefully it shall turn... Turn out okay. So yeah, I pay, I actually pay for the professional Canva. Um, it's eleven eleven pounds a month. I use it all the time. I used to also pay for Zoom at fourteen fourteen pounds a month, but I can't justify paying that for um not using it often enough. You see, oh, I've got that silly tape stuck in my mouth now. Right, so let me get this little phone in the holder. Da, 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 da. Come on, there we go. Hi, Janice. Well done on all your um, stamping up digital badges accomplishments, my lovely. And Joanna. Um, me too, it's a good send. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Right, okay. Let me get that away. Now, um, us demonstrators um, receive kind of like business tips and things like that from stamping up from time to time. And one of those was about a, a customer appreciation event. Um, so I thought, I'll design a project all by myself. And I've done that and I have typed up a tutorial. I've got, this is it here. So I've went all out with all my images and stuff. So once I set a date for this, I'll just do it as a Facebook Live. Um, but I'll give you plenty of notice. I think it's going to be a Wednesday evening between 7 seven and um and nine it might take an hour or an hour and a half but i would give you all this in advance and you could cut all your bits everybody's welcome it's not just for customers it's for anybody so um my lovely team should be um some taking part and any followers or fellow demon demonstrator folks as well and i know janice you've done one too hun so i need to um try and get along to yours as well pal um, Janice is doing a mystery stamping one. So, all good. Um, Hazel says, either me I'm trying to keep the cost down to be using the free versions. Oh, definitely, definitely. And I'm sure um, if you really needed something particular, one of your Stampin' Up sisters could help. So, so this is what the um, freebie is going to be. It's a little um, gatefold gift holder. So, it's got a little box on the inside with a flap. Now, this was inspired by um, Chipboard Chappy Crafts, Joe Coogan, 
who on his group done a big huge one like this so the inspiration came from Joel Coogan so thank you Joel um, he inspired me to use this um, similar effect on this little gatefold card um, the finishing for it could be either a centerpiece with a ribbon clo uh, closure or it could be a belly band I'm leaving that up to um, everybody <clears throat> so it's really just the mats and layers and stuff so once I set up D, I'll set up on a bin I will put all the um, measurements in and the PDF so you can print the PDF or you can print it as an image as well so um, so yeah right um, some of the comments aren't coming up I think there's a bit of a lagginess let's see it's so cold right let's do this Right, what size is this card? Right, I am going to... This is just short of six. Just short of six inches. So if I make it a six by four card, that makes it really easy for cutting. So. Let's do this. So, trimmer... Have, have we got rain? Yes. Yes, it's um, really quite close. Um, cold today, Barbara. Right, so let's just check this out. The sizes of each panel is three and three quarters by... Oh, let's see. Right, so the front and the back. Right, let me just um, do this an easier way. So we need some pieces that measure four by six. So this is going to be the front of the harmonica fold. Not the harmonica, what do you call it? <laughs> Not the harmonica, what do you call it? What's the fold called again, guys? I said it earlier and I've forgotten. Oh, such a so such. Right, so that's going to be the front and the back. And then we are going to cut this so that it fits on it. Barbara doesn't have rain, but the cold. Yeah, you stay wrapped up. Hi, Margaret. Hope you're well, accordion. Thank you. I said harmonica, didn't I? <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it just um, one eighth of an inch shorter than the six inches. So we'll cut that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So we'll keep this. So this is going to stick in here and then fold, 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 fold. Okay, so what I need to work out is we need two bits of 12 by 12. And let's see what these measure. It's good to do this old school ways of just winging it <laughs> because... Um, that's the only way you learn. Right, so one, two, three panels that are three folds that are three and three quarters. So we've got, where's my, in fact, let me use my scoring board because that's a bit easier. Um, right. And then I'll sit on my bahookie because I'm standing up at the minute and it's a bit annoying. So three and three quarters. And then three and three quarters times two is what? <laughs> three and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Seven and a half. Yeah, help. <laughs> so one, two, yeah, seven and a half. So three and three quarters seven and a half and then one two, three then it is eleven and a quarter thank you thank you so obviously this little bit will be glued we could always cut that down slightly isn't it gorgeous so this will go in here. So I folded it the wrong way. 
So that was three and seven eighths, seven and a half and eleven and a quarter. So we're going to do the same with this, but I want to... Um, do I want it like that or should I cut a bit off? Right, let's just do it again. So three and seven eighths, seven and a half and eleven and a quarter. Now we're obviously going to cut this end bit off, folks. Now let's get this out the way. How are you doing, Karen? You're not thinking about coming back, lovely? Such a good offer on just now. Right, so we are going to stick these two bits together. Now, I know the picture kind of goes um, off on one, but that's fine. So let's stick this together with some tape. Where is my tearing tape? So, hi, Lisa. How is everybody's... You're cutting his nose off. I know. Maybe I should do it like that. What do you think? Um, what do you think? Should I stick it on the top? Because it does look like it's he's had his nose cut off. Poor little mate. <laughs> yes. Okay, dokie. Right, what we'll do is I'll trim this down a little bit. Because we only need a little tiny bit for sticking. And this is all fun, the fun about um, winging it. So let's get some tearing tape on here. Like so. Give it a wee burnish. Concentration, concentration. My OCD doesn't like that it's on top, but um, I get it. <laughs> I get it, it will look better. Right, I need my little poke tool. Oh, my tummy's rumbling again. What are we like? So you'll find the original, um, I'm sure Sam over at Pootles has, um, right, I'll just line that up. She has um, a tutorial on this, which will be a lot um, easier to follow than mine, because obviously I am casing one of her projects. Right, so we need to cut this wee guy's nose off, I'm afraid, but... Such is life, little Mr. Polar Bear. Boop. <laughs> I was wondering, what could I use this gorgeous imagery for? And that's how I thought, hmm, that card. Uh, not the moment, lost my... Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, oh, bless. Yep, priorities are... Priorities are... Um, whatever's going on, hun. Obviously, health and family first. Right, so there is our accordion section. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to glue and here it on to our... Um, card front and back and then when you open it up it does this so I will use wet glue because I want some wiggle room let me get this glue off right let's see you can use tear and tape if you like or whatever right I'm gonna pop it on like so and just make sure that the DSP is in, in this um, size. That's why, because it's slightly shorter. I cut the DSP slightly um, shorter than the front and back, just so that it, it, it stops any overlap. Okay. So give that a good burnish. I, do you know what, folks? I do love this time of year, but it brings a lot of sadness, I think, as well. It's just, there's always, always stuff going on. There we go. Da, 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 da. Done. Right. So, we've got the front and the back. We've got the accordion. 
what we need now is we want a matte layer um, on here. Let me see, what did we do? What did I do for Sam's one? So it's a DSP layer. Right, that's fine. Because remember, we have this off cut. So let's do front and just do the front. There's no point doing the back of the card. If you had time, you could actually make a little box for this to go in as well. So, so really easy measurements because the front is um, four by six. I think I'm going to do a white layer first, actually. So I'm going to do um, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. I'm going to do a quarter inch increment just so that you can see the beautiful colours on the card, etc. So um, check which one's the front. Don't do it upside down. <laughs> so this will go in here and then we'll put DSP on. Then we'll put on other layers. And this is really good because it has all the panels on the inside. You can put as much or as little as you want. Um, but it's good because you can incorporate fussy cutting of all the little characters that go with the papers. Um, so you can make it really pretty. Really pretty. Right, that was three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So this bit needs to be three and a half by five and a half. The paper's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, keep all these wee bits because you never know that could be a little sentiment layer. Oh, it is freezing. I know I keep going on about it, but... Oh, see, that would look nice as well. Imagine that with white embossed um, snowflakes and what have you on it. That would be lovely. Right, anyway, back to the project in hand. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, husband is away taking Mackenzie to um, his friends, picking up two friends on the way. Ricky Jr.'s still in his bed. So, yes. What's everybody's plans for today? Now, what you could do is you could put a layer on the back here for um, writing, writing on. Yeah, I think I think I'll double up and do it on the back as well. So I am going to this time do the DSP first, and then the white on top, and then people can write on it. So three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So that will go on there. In fact, I might do it that way, yeah. And then a bit of white that's three and a half by five and a half. <laughs> These measurements might be different from um, Sam's original because I've not I've not referenced her tutorial because um, I can't actually find the printout that I got from the, the retreat that time. I have kept them but I just don't know what I've done with it. Um, but do look up the original creator, uh, Sam at Poodles. I'm sure she's got various types of accordion type cards on her channel. Mm -hmm. So that one I can't remember, what was the name? It was this the, the gnomes paper, wasn't it? This one that I used the last time. Right. Okay, so if you have a stamp, you could put to and from or what have you on it. <clears throat> right, now we need one, two, three, four, five, six matte layers. Six matte two layers. And they are going to be Bammy Blues and matte layer. And then the second layer is going to be a mix of white and the DSP, as you can see here. So we've got DSP, white, DSP, white. Um, so, yeah, so let's do the Bami Blue layers first. Now, I'm not going to measure what sizes those are because <clears throat> I'm just going to go with, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'll go with set um, let me see what size now. If that's four by six, if I do three by five or two by three, 
Yeah, I'll do two by three. No, two and a half by three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half for the mat. One. So there's one. I think if I'd done two by three, it'd be too small. That's two, three, four. And I'll use this little piece. Two and a half by three and a half. This is a new blade, by the way. Um, I've not put my new sticker on it yet. Right. So I'm going to need three bits of um, three bits of DSP. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's a bit dry, and two bits of white. So they're going to be three and a quarter by two and a quarter. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That's two and a quarter as well. So two bits like that, three bits DSP. So what did I say? Three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And we need three of these. One, two. It's actually that cold that I feel um, my fingertips getting a bit numb. <laughs> Right, great. We will need layers for on the front, but we'll do that later. I'll make it bigger layers. Right, so let's do the inside. What time are we at? Half past. So I think this is going to be good for an hour's class. Right, let's get these stuck down. So one, two, three, four. And I've only cut... How many bits do I need? Did I say one, two, three, four, five, six? I thought I cut six. All right, okay. Do that again. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. So, two and a half by three and a half. That's better. And I'll do one more mat in white because I want to use all the little furries. So, three and a quarter. By two and a quarter. Dun, 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 dun. That's great. Well, there's still 11 watching. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's stick these down. And you'll need to decide if you want to do a ribbon enclosure, uh, a ribbon closure, sorry, um, on the side. Um, add the ribbon before we put this mat layer on. So don't let me forget, because I want to use that gorgeous um, sparkle ribbon. Look at that. It's so nice and fluffy. Right, okay, here goes. Oops. Da -dum, da -da -da -dum. Right, pop that down. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> oh, thanks for popping a wee. Comment up, Joanna. I wondered if people had just fell asleep. <laughs> we'll get in. We'll get in. I hope your back's been okay recently. I know you've been having a bit of bother. Um, right, let's see. Should I do some? No, I'll not do blue. I'll do the lighter side. You know what? I'm going to switch three of my ones for uh, white. See how you just chop and change as you go. You wouldn't have me any other way. <laughs> right, new piece of card. You just need your basic white rather than the thick because it's only a little layer. So, um, three and a half by two and a half. So I need three of these. I think it'll look nice, it'll pop better because the Bami Blue and Bami Blue wouldn't pop as much. You could always ink around the edge or what have you, but... Right, okay. Ooh, my fingers are freezing. 
I've got trouble with you, buffering. I know it's my end, but I don't want to lose you. Oh, bless. Janice is still a bay drinking coffee. Nice. Coffees. Ruben's pretty. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, this is uh, the plan now. So, we'll switch the colours a little bit. Yeah, I'm on my second coffee. I am waiting on Charlotte getting back from gymnastics uh, to have coffee with my sister-in-law. Oh, nice! Struggling at the moment, Joanna's saying, off for all, oh, honey. It's not worse. I had a really um, tough day yesterday. I had to go back to my bed. I just said to my work, sorry, but I feel... Um, we've been moving office this week. Um, and although I haven't been doing physical stuff, as in moving things... Um, I did have to clear out some old files into confidential bags and stuff, so it just really um, overdone it a wee bit. So yesterday I lost half a shift, but I managed to do what I needed to do afterwards. So, the joys of working at home. Oh, your cup's empty, Hazel, that's no good. <laughs> right, what we're going to do now is place, now you might not see all these panels, place our layers now i know you're probably thinking oh my goodness you're covering up those gorgeous gorgeous polar bears but you know what it's okay it's okay hi leslie leslie's popped in to watch i like it i like it right let's get these popped down if you want age you could use um smaller or miss out some layers it's entirely up to you um, but I want to put all of these on because I am, like I say, I'm going to use other um, fuzzy cut images from this uh, DSP. So, um, oh, thanks for sharing, Sonia. I hope you're well. Merci. Merci, merci. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to stand up because I need to try and get these as straight as possible. So just pop it down in the centre. We could probably have been doing with being a little bit bigger. Um, but that's all right. You learn as you go. Right, no, this needs to go over there. I'm getting mixed up with this extra bit here, you see. Right, that looks about straight. Polar bear party behind the mats. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that polar bear party. Hey, Maddie, so you could have put them off centre. I don't know what's that OCD thing there. I know. I feel kind of bad covering up. But you could do all different um, types of mat. You could do, like, if you've got your circle punches, you could put maybe one up here and it'll look like this one's looking at the moon or something. So, yeah. Possibilities are endless. So. Sorry, little polar bears. <laughs> right, let me get my bone folder and just give them a little rub down. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jane. Hope you're well. Ta-da. So the back and the front. do do do, do. Love it. Oh, it's only 10.35, but that's absolutely fine because it's going to take ages um, doing some fussy cutting. Right, let me attach my ribbon um, just now. Now, of course, if I'm putting a ribbon on it, it's going to look odd on here, so I might add another layer. Um, I should have really stuck some ribbon under here. That would have been a better fit. Um, yeah, you can still see it, that, that nose. <laughs> Brilliant. And this one's looking up to the stars. Right, okay. So, oh, look at this. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so let's cut this. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't. I forgot to share a photo yesterday, a photograph because little Rab the Robin came back to see me. 
I've been trying for ages and ages to get a photo of him and he just was having none of it. Right, okay. You can use um, tearing tape or your stamp and seal. I'm just going to use tearing tape. She says. I wasn't meant to do that there. There we go. That's husband coming back in, but I've said to him, go come in the back door. Because the dogs go crazy when he comes home. Right, okay. <clears throat> Concentration, Trisha. Love it, love it. It's so soft, guys. So soft. You would probably make a belly band because I'm useless with bows. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to be a special bow, trust me. Right, so. Oh. I might need to add extra on that. Right, so when you open it, it's only the front that's attached and then the whole thing opens up. Which is fine. And then you've got your back piece. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Karen did wonder. <laughs> oh, what a like. Right, let's do a matte layer for on the front. I am going to do three by five. And if it's too big, I shall adjust it slightly. No, I think that's fine. So three by five, um, and then I'll do the dark blue on top. So um, three by oh, four and three quarters by two and three quarters. Right, that's going to be the matte layer. Right, fab. I've chosen to go with the darker blue in the front because I want to add a little characters on and I think it'll make it pop a bit better. So this will get attached with some dimensionals or if you have the, what do you call it, the foam strips, that would be good too. So let me just attach all these. I've shared on my personal page a wonderful um, chocolate gift box that one of my team ladies made. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So you can see that on my... Maybe she'll share it to the Crafty Stamping Club group. Do you know what? Oh, they lovely to see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, okay. So, and how nice was it to see that Stamping with Ian has um, been making some cards. So Ian shared on the group, super chuff, because Ian's been busy with other things going on. So it was nice to see him crafting. Right. Now this is, this is just going to be easy to tie. It doesn't need to be fancy. Ta-da. <laughs> Oh, you could just leave it hanging. It's up to you, folks. Right, okay, let's um, get some fuzzy cutting done. Now, where is that packet of card? So, it is the Baby Christmas. And it does tell you on the back all the coordinating colours. Hi, Emma, how are you? This would have been a nice one to use as the accordion section. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my arsenal is playing up. Right, what else do we have here? Let me see now. Yep, this is the remaining one that I'm going to use. I was just seeing if there was any other sheets there, but I think I've used them. It's a really nice um, festive paper set. Right, so, obviously when you open it up, it's going to be a completely different scene because there's not any greener that inside, but I will um, incorporate some extra pops of colour. So let's do the front first. I think I'll fussy cut this out. You could, um, you could even put some um, snow effect on there as well. Let me do that, actually. Let me mark... 
I'm sure you've got dyes that would do this as well. I know I have somewhere, but this is just for quickness. So what I'm going to do is cut a little section like that. And then we use this bit to go in behind it or on top, it's up to you. And then you can tuck your little creatures. You can tuck your little images um, in behind it or what have you. That's nice. Right, I think I'll do that. Let me stick this one down. So all I'm gonna do is glue at the sides and that'll allow me to sneak things under. Like so. And the same with this one. Hi, Amanda. I love watching you fussy cutting one thing I can't do. Oh, it's getting harder though. Because my right is starting to affect... Um... I need to move that down a bit. It's started to affect this um, forefinger. Let me just reposition that. slightly off. Let me do that again. Oh, come on, stick doing your bugger. Right, that's fine. Stick, 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 stick. Right, so let's fuzzy cut this one out. Or that one and that one. No, they're too big. Oh, look. You know what? I think I'll do this one with the present and then this little baby one. Yes. Um, right, let's do that. And it's okay because I am going to use this um, sheet for fussy cutting anyway, so it doesn't matter if this looks like, whoa, what are you doing? These ones that are off cut, you can still use them in your projects as well. <laughs> Karen suggesting that you move your paper rather than the scissors, Gemma, makes it so much easier. I love it when you guys share tips. Look at that wee guy. Oh, nice. Right. Let me fussy cut this out. Oh, pressure's on. Pressure's on. There we go. Right. Talk amongst yourselves while I concentrate. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, and if you keep a certain kind of like pressure on your scissors as well as you're, move, as you're moving your paper. Oh yeah, that's good. I was worried I was going to chop his little ear off. This card would look nice. And Halloween papers as well. If anybody makes it be sure to um share i'd love to see oh look oh, i like that and then we'll have the little baby there oh so yesterday at the back of um eight we nipped down to our friends um in the village and i met her little puppy which is a little um oh god what is it now you know the mini pug it's not a pug Oh, I can't remember. I'll need to get a photo and share with you guys. It's just like a wee miniature thing. It's cute as anything. Um, Joanne says it would look good in Halloween and Karen says it's adorable. So cute. So cute. Right. So, let's do this. Oh. And you see, you could just tuck him in like that. Oh, like it, like it. I think that's cute. You know what would be really nice? Um, heat embossing on here. That's the only thing when you um, make it up as you go. Embossing would have been good um, before I um, put all the layers on, but I think I might do it anyway. May your Christmas be merry and bright. Okay, so let's stamp that on first and get it embossed. Amanda saying she loves it. Frenchie, thank you. Yes, it is. It's a wee Frenchie. He's a... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am terrible. Honestly, see my... Um... What 
do you call it? My brain now. Right, have I unplugged the right plug? Yes, I have. This is going to be great. Right, let me plug in this. Oops, it's turned on. Right, grab a little, a star cut from the Holy Night paper. Oh, that would be nice as well. Let me have a wee look. Right, let me see. If that's going there and then wee baby's there, what one should I use though? May your Christmas be merry and bright. Let's just place them on. Or the smaller one. I think the smaller one. What do you think, guys? Then I could put a wee star up there or something. Yeah, let's do that. Don't know why I'm whispering. Right. Let's get this out. I need a bit of scrap paper to catch. Oh my goodness, the rain's belting down. <laughs> why does it always have to rain? When I've not long done my hair and straightened it. The smaller one, everybody's saying perfect. Thank you. Right. I just hope this works. It will work. I've done this before. <laughs> um, I did embossing on to a project that's nearly finished. Right, that's fine. It's good when you have the good, the right tools, you see. Right, need a block. Block, block, block. Come on, block. Out you come. So, all I'm going to do with this is, I'm just going to scrape it off with, with my jammies. There we go. See? Not done. <laughs> right, do that again. Take two. Right, take two. So, that's where there's a will, there's a way, guys. Always. Where there's a will, there is a way. Now, what didn't I do? I didn't remove static. However, oh, look how gorgeous that is. However, I've been lucky. Let me grab my little, my little brush that comes with our little kit. Ta-da! Gorgeous. Right. See, that worked out in the end. Yeah, you jinxed it. It's your fault. <laughs> Oh, bless. I know, I was trying not to um, pop it over the dimensional section, but failed miserably. Right, let's do this. I'm going to heat up the gun, the heat tool, sorry. And boss and buddy, I know. But luckily this one's worked out. <laughs> Just let it heat up a little. And then watch the magic happen. Oh, this is just so satisfying, by the way. Look how clear that block writing is. Love it. Right, so I'm going to cut this up. It's slightly squint, but it's fine because I will cut it on my trimmer and sort it. So we'll give it a little flat, make sure it's dry. Oh, wow, it's 17 watching now. Right, so I'm going to use this as a guide to cut it straight. Perfect. And then I can go from there, you see. Boop. Boop. Because it's this bit that's slightly squint. Ta-da. Oh, it's still a bit squint. Hang on. That's my eyes. It's nice. And then this can go on the front. So I will, do you think I should mat it with a bit of white? Yeah. Let's mat it up. Because I can, because I can. And I think that'll let it pop a little bit more. So it will. Jenny says, looking good. Thank you, my lovely. Yes. Right, now time to bring the cuties back in. 
Right, so this one will just be popped down flat, flush even, just like so. I know he's been rude looking away when this uh, lovely polar bear is gift giving. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Right, I'm just going to tuck that in slightly. Yeah, I'll just put this one flush as well. Just let that overlap there a little bit. Matt, yes, good. Love it. Right, let's look at this um, new paper. What one was it? Kirsten or Holy Night, was it? Holy Night. Oh, I see what you mean. So that would be nice on the front. Let me see if there's any actual stars. We do have the um, <clears throat> star punch that retired. I've not even looked at these yet. I've not even looked at these. Oh, okay. oh, oh. Oh, pretty. <gasps> you know what? I could quite easily add a section in at the top. Oh, wow. I love these. That is a lot of star paper, isn't it? Not sure about that one, but... <gasps> Hmm, right, let's see. Should I cut one of them out? Mm, I don't really want to spoil the one sheet of that for a star. But, let's see now, what else? Do I have any star stamps lying around? Do, do, do. No, but... What I might do instead of the star is, because what time is it? Oh, I've got five, five minutes. Um, I will use, right, where is the snow stamp? So Gift of Giving has a gorgeous um, star stamp. So I think I'll do that. And it's not as important that uh, these stars work out because it's not like a block text or anything. So... Um, boss buddy at first. Just want it on the top there. And we need to switch the stamp. Add some Versamark. That one would be great for men's cards. Yes. Or oh, you just want a sneak peek. <laughs> it's gorgeous. That would make a lovely album. I've not made an album in so long. I really need to do a, here's a start to finish kind of video series. Right, there's enough stars on there to grab some embossing powder, so let's just do this. I love how you can mix and match your stamps. You must see nothing. <laughs> So I'll take that away there, take that away there because that was the excess from the last one. So you can see it's got little dots and little stars, so that seems to have worked okay. I can hear her husband doing the dishes, by the way. Hi, Jeanette. How are you, lovely? It's on Kirsten's wish list. Oh, excuse me. Oh, right, let's do this. Do, 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 do. It's great when you can just make it up as you go. And you guys are just amazing at um, suggesting things, which I absolutely love. Right, come on, work your magic. It is a useful stamp, isn't it? This would also be nice on Halloween papers, but maybe stamp, um, embossing it in black on top of the um, orange. That would be nice. For your kind of creepy scenes and stuff. Oh, I like that. I like it. I like it. Right. So, let's pop dimensionals on this. And, of course, this is beveled cad slightly, but just flatten it back out. Um, right. Dimensionals. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just putting them anywhere. I 
also have this gorgeous little bow that I made for another project that didn't I didn't actually end up using it, so I might pop that on the card as well. Looks good, I'll catch the rest later. Oh, upside down. No worries, Jeanette. Look, it's a accordion card. Original design by the lovely Poopler, Sam. Right, let's pop this here. Oh, look, oh, that's really pretty. That would be good in a bigger size as well for own an album front or a recipe book or something. Um, I don't even think it needs a bow, so I'll just chuck that away. I do, however, think it needs some bling. I've got all this bling that I've got, and I've not used it yet. I'm just terrible. Um, this was Faceted James Trio Pack. Might use some of them, actually. These are gorgeous as well because they're really flat. These are the ones that coordinate with this, but since this packet's open... Oh, thank you, kind. I'm going to try and do. I don't. I don't normally like casing. Um. Oh, I don't know actually if I should put this on here. No, I think I'll go with the smaller ones. Um, I don't usually case other demos, but I think I'm going to, and then that's an opportunity to share and network for them as well. Oh, look. So we've got one, two, three different colours. We have adhesive bat. And we've got one, two, three sizes. Now, you can use your um, take your pick tool to pick these up if you want. Oh, these are nice. Oh, it's stuck, oh, 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 it's stuck to my finger. Oh, these are super pretty. I think I'll put a bigger one. Oh no, I don't want a bigger one. Do you like I just talk to myself? If I put that there, and then maybe put that one up a wee bit, like that. And then move this one over because it looks out of, out of sorts, shall we say. Right, isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. My husband's meant to think, what the hang is she saying through there? How do I get back into this? Where's the sticky bit? Is it the other side? No. Well, there we go. Operation, use your products. Trisha, don't hoard them. Oh my God, you know what? I'll put them back later. I'm not fighting with them on camera. Nice. Look at the sparkle. Beautiful. Right, let me get these back in my embossing thing. So, I think I will end the live now because I know you guys have got things to do. Um, now, you could leave the inside blank or you could, like I've done with the front, um, add in some little um, fuzzy cut images in here as well. Um, there's some really nice ones on this sheet. Um, for instance, this one here with a wee rabbit on the top, you can pop that one here or on there. It brings in some red or you can cut out the Christmas tree on its own. Lots of things you can do. I do like the front though, with a little baby, little baby polar bear or the young one. Right, let's see, tie this. There, that'll do. <laughs> And thank you again for everybody for coming on to watch. And uh, yeah, for the original inspiration, please look up Putler's channel on YouTube. And uh, yeah, whatever you're doing the rest of the day, have fun and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye guys. Thanks again.